Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss acceleration versus position using calculus. So here we have some function that describes the acceleration of some object. It could be a skateboard, an electron, whatever. Inscribing the acceleration as a function of time, represented by the variable t. Here we have a of t is equal to 3t squared plus 5. And what we want to know is, can we determine the position of the object as a function of time using this formula? The answer is yes. What we're going to do first is take the indefinite integral of our acceleration function. With respect to t, of course. And what this will give us is the velocity function. So let's go ahead and compute that. So the integral of 3t squared, we get t cubed. 5, we get 5t, plus some unknown constant c. Now, here, in order to determine c, we need to have at least one other piece of information, which is typically called an initial condition. For example, in the problem, you might be given something like v of 0 is equal to 0, meaning the object is stationary at time 0. So assuming we're given such a piece of information, we can plug that in here and see what we get. So we get 0 equals 0 cubed plus 5 times 0 plus c. Well, it's fairly clear here that c is just going to be 0 because 0 equals 0 plus 0 plus 0. OK, so we know that c is equal to 0. So again, v of t is just t cubed plus 5t. OK, that's still not quite what we want. What we're trying to get is the position as a function of time. So we can simply take the indefinite integral again. We get p of t is going to be the indefinite integral of v of t, which, as we said before, is t cubed plus 5t with respect to t. So let's go ahead and compute that. We get t to the fourth over 4 plus 5t squared over 2 plus some unknown constant. This time we'll call it k, just to avoid confusion. And again, if you are given an initial condition, for example, something like p of 0 equals 5, you can plug these pieces of information into this equation and determine what k is. But if you're not given an initial condition, then this is all you can say about the position function. So that it is of the family of curves described by t to the fourth over 4 plus 5t squared over 2 plus some constant k. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed acceleration versus position using calculus.